Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 8th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick video update here as we have some space weather news to present to you. I've been talking about the X-class solar flare and all of the multiple M-class solar flares that have been occurring, but now we've got a couple nasty solar storms on their way as they have produced coronal mass ejections in Earth-facing Earth facing fashion. Now watching there in, in the equatorial region, bright sunspot region, and as well northwest of that, big plasma filament eruption producing another coronal mass ejection. So multiple CMEs to talk about here, and they're both on their way. Data is coming in already seeing a space weather prediction as this solar storm is expected to arrive on Mother's Day. 10th into the 11th, and there's all the activity. Look at that most recent M-class solar flare shooting freaking laser beams out of our sun in an Earth-facing direction, but totally not in a full Earth direction, as that would probably fry our planet. Be lights out. Be another Carrington event. But those are some pretty large solar flares that we've been seeing. Mind the solar flashes there, everybody. And as well, that small calibration from Solar Dynamics Observatory in their satellites. There's a lot going on with our sun, so I'm sure a lot of calibrations are being done during this event. As we've seen multiple sunspots and big time sunspot groupings. In my last video, I did say... Watch for something big as these two regions were reacting with each other. The one that is leaving and the one that just produced multiple M-class solar flares. Having a look here, showing all of the sunspot regions on our sun. That is a most recent, another M-class solar flare. So we've seen about a dozen of them in the past three days. Looking at multi-spectrum here, so just some amazing imagery. We have a coronal hole in the northern hemisphere and as well in the southern hemisphere. Very complex situation or situation, whatever you want to call it. But this is pretty big news. So please share this with your friends and family from around the world as it does affect everything and everyone. This is all connected through the electromagnetic universe. We're already seeing increase and in steady increase in earthquakes and have been the last few days during the solar events having a look here at lasco 2 we're gonna see full halo cme right there and another one and then another one shooting out from the plasma filament eruption so this is showing from may 5th to today may 8th Multiple CMEs taking off from the sun and two of them halo CMEs. So this event is on its way. And again, not really sure what these two objects are coming into the wide band view here with Lasco 3. Just another way to see this large halo CME Earth directed. When you see all the energy all around that disk, it's on its way. In current space weather conditions, we are under R3. Strong radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds coming in 450 kilometers per second. And there's our solar X-ray flex. We've got about a dozen M-class solar flares reported in the past two days. Geomagnetic activity seeing a KP 1.5. And then here, have a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center with their CME model. And this is expected 10th to the 12th. Let's see here. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. It will be a two-day event. Big solar storm on its way. Multiple CMEs. Double shot CME. Expected on Mother's Day. So heads up, everybody. And please, again, share this information with all your friends and family. I appreciate all of you being a part of this community and much love to you all. You are my light. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing uh, no new CMEs to report since 
I'm not sure if there was a CME reported here or predicted. It may not have been updated yet, but I will keep you posted, so stay tuned. And as well, I want to keep you posted on the earthquakes. We're up in over 228 earthquakes right now. USGS reporting 230 earthquakes. So stay tuned. Minor aftershocks continue in New Jersey. Lots of activity. Pacific Northwest up into Alaska. And the largest earthquake today was a 6.2 magnitude earthquake. Luganville, Vanuatu. No tsunami with that, but aftershocks east of that. Other than that, it's pretty quiet for big earthquakes. So heads up. Stay safe and healthy. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Not that I'm telling you what to do, but I love you all. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.